Beelink S12 Pro has been a popular seller through my affiliate links, and yet I never reviewed it. It's been constantly nagging me to be reviewed. Chronic nagging, 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 nagging. Sorry, it does that sometimes. Nagging. nagging. And has never happened until now for a variety of reasons. We've looked at a whole heap of Intel N100 minis on this channel, more than anyone else. And the Beelink S12 Pro review will finally make me feel warm, fuzzy, and complete inside. Ah, who am I kidding? There's always another one around the corner. Beelink's S12 Pro is a very compact mini PC, not the smallest, but far from the larger N100s. It's fully plastic and comes with a simple set of ports. So, how does it perform? Well, let's put it through the ringer and see what it spits out on the other end. The S12 Pro doesn't feel cheap in the hands and is solid all around. A surprising amount of minis just don't get this right. You know what they say about first impressions. You don't? Oh, me neither. I'm just making conversation. The Mini has a simple inoffensive design, although that red power button stands out a bit too much for my liking. I'm gonna call you Rudolph. Inside is the very common Intel N100 4 core 4 thread CPU with UHD graphics. A common CPU for the common man or woman. AliExpress allowed me to choose this Mini from a range of options on their website in exchange for a review. It wouldn't have happened otherwise, nor the Firebat MN56 Mini PC I reviewed earlier. Anyway, the S12 Pro is available for around 171 US dollars from the official B-Link store on AliExpress, and there's a limited use coupon linked in the video description, which helps bring down the price a bit more. Included is 500 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200. In the box is a VESA mount, wall power supply, manual, and two HDMI cords. Port selection is as simple as it gets. Clear CMOS button, audio jack, and two USB 3 10 gigabit on the front. The back has another two of those, a Realtek gigabit LAN jack, and two HDMI ports capable of up to 4K 60Hz. So, no USB-C, but surprisingly, Intel Wi-Fi 6 is included for the price, which is better than most budget mini PCs. The S12 Pro is pretty easy to open. Four screws, then pull on the rubber hard until it pops. Something about that didn't sound right. The bottom lid allows a 2.5 inch SATA drive to be connected for extra storage. This wireless chip is soldered and not replaceable or upgradable. B-Link is one of the few companies that has put some form of cooling on the SSD in its budget boxes. There's a small thermal pad which connects to a 2.5 inch drive slot and spreads the love. B-Link's S12 Pro also supports M.2 NVMe in the same slot, and the crystal disk mark result shows it will max out at Gen 3 X1 speed. Windows 11 Pro is included with the S12 Pro. No malware was found after scanning the OS. The N100 minis run Linux no problem, or at least as far as I can recall, and this one's no different. Okay, now for the benchmarks. The S12 Pro is a strong performer out of the box, with one of the highest Intel N100 scores recorded in Cinebench single core. The good news continues with multi-core. High score out of the box, a good start. Geekbench shows the best N100 single core score so far, and a good result in multi-core. Video encoding is another multi-core test that has the S12 Pro as one of the top performers. So it's good news on the CPU side, but what about iGPU? Well, with its DDR4 stick, it falls below DDR5, but the difference between it and the top result is small in DX11 and DX12. It's around 2.5% slower than a DDR5 and 100 mini. Still don't have much data for Steel Nomad, but it performs similarly to other N100 minis. One thing to be aware of is the lower the price you go in the budget segment, the higher the diminishing returns. What that means is if you throw in an extra $50 US or so over the N100, you can get something much more powerful like a mini with a Ryzen 6600H. That being said, fastest doesn't mean best in every usage case, and what Intel N100 minis often accomplish is being smaller with less fan noise, lower power consumption, and heat. And of course, saving $50 or so is always welcome. So, these make for popular media boxes, PFSense, office machines, and so on. If you want a cheap box for the kids that plays Minecraft, sure, an Intel N100 will do the job. Even some other basic titles, 
and emulation up to GameCube, Wii, PS2 at 720p. If you need more than that, you're better off looking at the 6600H minis I mentioned, which are far more powerful for gaming. Intel's N100 has excellent video playback capabilities, so for a media box, a pricier mini doesn't really make sense. It all comes down to the usage case. There's a test for checking recording viability, which I've started using recently, and that test is called LatencyMon. Beelink's S12 Pro passes the test no problem, even with Cinebench running in the background. Intel's N100 CPU isn't something recommended for video editing, but the QuickSync hardware decoder helps to speed things up in the editing process, and it is decent for simple 1080p projects. Much better than you'd think. In the BIOS, you can mess with the fan curve in hardware monitor, though it works fine already. In chipset, PCH, IO configuration, you can change the state after G3 option if needed. I didn't find anything else you might be interested in. The S12 Pro comes bundled with an M.2 SATA SSD, so it's not super fast, but it is the best performing SATA SSD tested so far. Unfortunately, there's no temperature sensor on the included drive, so no chart. But SATA drives don't produce a lot of heat, and with the extra limited cooling, it'll be fine. Bluetooth range is pretty good at 6 meters using my audio speaker. The test is done by moving away from the Mini and looking for the furthest distance with no dropouts or artifacts while music's being played. Happy to report there were no problems with the Wi-Fi range at 12 meters or 39 feet using the 5G band. No wireless problems with Mini PCs is not as common as you'd think. An idle power draw of 9 watts is just average. Power draw peaked at 35 watts, which is on the high side. CPU temp maxed out at 80C, which is average and plenty fine. Fan noise with most budget minis is low, and this one follows that trend. It's not the best result, but B-Link's S12 Pro is a better than average performer under load and a quiet but not silent mini PC. I did mention it's small, and you can see that here. The S12 Pro takes up less than half a litre of volume, making for a very compact unit. Okay, now for the conclusion. B-Link's S12 Pro performs well out of the box with no tweaks needed. Cooling is fine all around. There's 2.5 inch storage expansion even on this small mini PC. Wireless range is good, but port selection is weak, and the price to performance could be better. Overall, B-Link's S12 Pro is one of the better N100 minis out there, and I don't think there would be too many unhappy with it, even without my in-depth review. Its pricing on AliExpress is a bit too close to a mini with a 6600H, such as the Firebat MN56, but that comes with its own pros and cons. So I recommend checking out the review for that before making your decision. It's right here. Oh, and you can also check out my top picks on AliExpress here. Cheers!